mutable and complex joins. As we've discussed previously, a mutable join is a join of more than two tables. Multi-table, mutable, subject to change, etc. Here's a three-table join between act, show, and venue. The act ID is linked with the show, and the venue ID is linked with the show from the venue table. The result is a join between the act, the venue, and the show, giving venue names and act names. So a mutable join is a join between multiple tables. A complex join is a form of a mutable join except that it has additional filtering. So this same join has changed from a mutable multi-table join into the same join but it has filtering on it. So what you've done is you've taken some of the rows from the mutable join and you've filtered out rows you don't want, leaving you with a smaller number of rows in the result set. Let's look at a few examples. I'm going to change some column names so I can see what's going on on my screen. Now let's try a mutable join. I've got 147 rows as a join between the venue, act, category, and show tables linked by venue, act, and category IDs. A complex join is exactly the same as a mutable join except that it has some extra filtering added on. So you can see from this query as I have three lines for the join in the WHERE course and here I have three lines and an extra line. So I'm specifying that the category must be of a certain category. So let's run this query. And here I have my complex mutable join. It's a subset of the initial mutable join. Now I'm going to go and run the same query or queries but using the ANSI format. You can see from this format that it's much more obviously mutable table join and you can also see this is a mutable table join with filtering therefore it's a complex join. So let's simply run these two joins and make sure we come up with the right results. The first one is 147 rows and the second one is 44 rows, exactly as we got last time. So what's the big deal about calling them mutable or complex joins? The fact is, the more tables you put into a join, the more complex it is to tune it. In the past, I have seen some applications with tables with up to 15 tables in joins, and sometimes even more. Queries like that are more or less absolutely impossible to tune, and they can actually kill an application completely. They can kill a company. The best way to write SQL is to keep it as simple as possible. Other than that, any further discussion on tuning of mutable and complex joins is really part of SQL tuning, and that will be covered in a later course.